Since the time the Modi government has come to power, it has always encouraged development in the northeastern Indian region, which earlier remained isolated. People belonging to the northeastern states earlier always complained that they don't feel a part of India as they were never included. However, the Modi government made sure of including them and also initiated various development projects in the region. In the past eight years, Modi visited the region 51 times and thus his efforts made sure that they don't feel alienated. During Amit Shah's visit to Tripura for election rallies ahead of the polls in the state, he said that since Modi came to power, he has put in efforts to change the entire Northeast. He added, the first thing is that there is peace in the Northeast today. There were numerous militant organizations. We have finalized agreements with many such organizations. Before 2014, 40,000 families belonging to Bru and Ryang had been living in Tripura for over 25 years, but in inhuman conditions. Fortunately, after BJP's government gained power, they got settled in proper conditions, Amit Shah further said. Agreements were signed with the National Liberation Front of Tripura here also. Nearly over 8,000 armed cadres have surrendered their arms and opted to join the mainstream. Earlier known for blockades, bunts, bomb explosions and insurgency, the Northeast region now has properly built roads and railway networks and airports are also about to reach all the states in the Northeast. Amit Shah even added that the Prime Minister made sure that every 15 days, at least one union minister visits the region. He provided free rice to the population since COVID-19 and has also provided houses to the poor in the region. Rumours were spread by the media person and the opposition that if BJP will come to power, the region will lose its power, identity and languages. However, the opposite happened as since then, local languages and the culture of the region have been strengthened.